Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day five of this energy leadership training uh, series. So I decided that, you know, since we're all safer at home, this is a great opportunity for us to really look at, you know, how does this energy, how does this whole situation impact of how our energy, how we show up every day. And one of the greatest tools that I offer to all my clients is this something called energy leadership index assessment. And this is an assessment where it can measure your current perception and how you see your side, your, yourself and also how you view the world around you. Um, so depending on which level of your energy that you're showing up with, you may experience life very differently. This is why some of us feel more opportunity is showing up in our life versus someone else may feel really stuck in that moment. So this is a great assessment. And if you're interested, I would encourage you. I want to invite you to take a look on my website at elevatelifecoaching.org slash energy leadership. And my cat is really causing a chaos right now, right in front of my desk. This is why I'm catching all the paperwork that's falling apart. Anyway, so for those of you who's joining me for the first time, I'm Michelle. I am a confident and leadership coach, and I work with negative self talkers to help them to become really the most confident person in the world. Um, right now, in this case, in front of the camera. So I work with negative self talkers to help them to release that fear of judgment so that they can step into their true authenticity. And the reason why I am able to let go of my own experience for 30 years, I was being, being plain small and being living in my life in the most unfulfilled way um, and stepping into my true power. And here I am, I'm sharing all these skills with you. So if you have been watching, um, you'll know that, you know, for the last couple of days, I've been sharing this something called energy leadership with you. And this is how we, energy is how we influence each other and how we show up in this world. And being a leader, is, oh, well, there's my cat. Well, my cat really wants to be on the camera today. As you can see, I apologize for this interruption. Um, this is a perfect time to go to a commercial break, probably. <laughs> I will be right back, commercial break. Well, energy leadership is really how we influence each other and how we influence ourselves, whether we feel motivated, whether we feel inspired. So, I am going to share with you these tools that you can pick and choose of which level of energy that you want to show up in your life. So, so if you've been following me, you probably have already watched the video that I have shared a couple of days ago from the warrior lens to the fighter lens. If you missed those episodes, I invite you to go back and watch the replay so that you can catch up with me. Now, today we're up to the cooperation lens. Um, so my question to you this morning is what have you been putting up with? Um, whether it's a chaos that's going on, going around in the world or the chaos maybe at home, but like there's a section of your laundry is just having a war with you. Or maybe it's, you know, as a woman, you know, I was looking at my hair. Luckily, I have long hair, so I don't have to, uh, you know, go through that um, experience where I need to worry about cutting my hair. I've always had long hair. I guess this is a time for all the women to start growing out hair. <laughs> now, so maybe I'm putting up with my hair right now. Um, there's a lot of things that we're putting up with and also tolerating at this moment. So today's lens is really about what are you tolerating in your life and what are you cooperating um, in your life? It may not be entirely negative. Maybe cooperation will actually set us into motion and enable us to look at our next step. So whatever that you are tolerating is, let's take a look into a more detail of how that is showing up. So if you join me, let me invite you to my screen. Uh, I got to share my screen with you first, right? So energy leadership series. Again, you know, I wanted to invite you to go back and take a look on my previous episodes. Um, and this just to catch up with the, with the, with the fresh of memory. So recap, there's two lenses that I covered already, which is the warrior lens. Uh, this is a lens where you, you're being the victim, you worry about a lot of things, you know, what's happening, what's not happening. The fighter lens, which is, you know, I got this, I'm going to push through this, and I'm going to push myself and, and hoping that I will, I will make it out, out to, the, to, the, to see the light of the at the end of the tunnel. 
So number three is the collaboration lens. So again, what is it that you are experiencing right now? Maybe it's stress. And how do we, how do we typically react when we have a lot of stress? Generally, we cope. We learn to cope in those stressful situations. Work, for example, then you could be picking up a lot of extra responsibility, um, especially for healthcare workers. Um, you may not be able to have, you know, extra shifts. You may not be getting your days off, or you know, maybe you are having too much of day off, and that's creating a lot of stress for you. And in those moments of time when the stress do show up, how do you relate to that? How do you respond to it? And many of us will relate to it by having developing those coping skills. And what are some of the coping skills? It's those moments where you know you don't really like what's being told to you, but you don't have a choice. You're just kind of putting up with it, which shows up to me many, many times. Um, hi, Erin. Thanks for joining in. Um, so many times we respond to these stress by having these coping skills. So the cooperation lens is really the gateway to help us to get into the next level, which I will cover tomorrow, but this is the lens where we start taking responsibility. It's, you know, you, you're not happy where you are, but you don't have a choice. So, so let me just do my part just to stay in this and just kind of move along and go along with the journey and hopefully things will turn out to be okay. So this is the type of lens that we wear a lot of time in situation where we cannot foresee changes, we cannot predict the future. And you're just kind of taking responsibility in rationalizing, you know, what's going on in the world and just coping, using your skill to cope through this whole chaos. So coping and releasing some of the negative energy that we have covered about um, the fear, the worry, the, the uh, overwhelming feelings and, and that anger, you start to releasing those lower two level of energy that we had talked covered. You may also start to forgive, forgiving others, forgiving the situation and forgive this, the fact that we're all in this together, we're stuck here. Well, what are we gonna do, right? So you start to forgive um, what has done to you and you are more able to just move things along and taking into action. You may be tolerating, it could be tolerating anything. You're, we're, I'm tolerating the pile of laundry that's been sitting on my floor for quite some time. So I'm tolerating that. So what is it that you're tolerating? Um, moving, moving on, looking into long-term, this can be actually very successful because I'm coping through my dirty laundry. I don't have to do anything about it. I really don't. I'm just gonna put up with it. Um, we, are, we are able to engage people, um, unlike the warrior lens where we're so focused on worrying about ourselves, there's a lot of fear. So we're constantly in that victim mentality. And so we, it's, chances are we're not gonna engage anyone. I just want to be by myself. That is the warrior lens. Whereas the cooperation lens, you're able to engage people. You know, we're all in this together. I'm doing my part and you know what? I'm just gonna, do my things and get up in the morning, even though I feel like a train wreck today. Um, haven't got to my coffee yet, but oh well, <laughs> it is what it is, and which is very common in this cooperation lens. So if you use that lens, if you use that phrase a lot, it is what it is. Or you kind of say it in the way where, well, it is what it is. Then perhaps, this is the lens that you've been wearing for, for a very long time. So it is what it is, can sound very cooperative. What are some of the internal messages that you can see with this lens? I'll cope, I'll cooperate. What resource can I tap into? And this is where we lead and jump into the next level. Um, if you're able to start looking at it from the point where I'm gonna have to put up with this, but what resources can I tap into? Welcome to the higher energy lawyer. Um, I will delegate this, you know, I'm stuck. I don't have a choice, but you know what? I'll just give it to someone else to do it. I'm just gonna put it up with it, but I'm gonna give it to someone else to do it. Or another internal message would be, I'm actually responsible for taking care of myself. I'm actually responsible for contributing to the well-being of this world. Well, that sounds like the next level, but that, that's the mindset that you start walking into. Things are finally getting easier. 
Yeah, because we don't have to keep living in that space of being warrior and being angry all the time. We start looking at things as, well, it is what it is. You know, I can't change anything. So let me just put up with it. And it's okay. Behavior. How do we really show up with our behavior when we're wearing this cooperation lens? So the behavior that can show up is, you know, this may, this is the best decision that we can make under the circumstances. Safer at home is probably the best decision that we can currently make until we have the vaccine, until we have a solution. So this may be the best solution, best decision under these circumstances. And we're able to keep peace um, with ourselves and also with our surrounding. We don't have to get into fight, right? Because we don't have to go and fight for toilet paper. Um, you kind of just deal with the situation as is um, and not getting into that conflict. Forgive, again, you know, when you're wearing this lens, you start to forgive yourself and also for the situation, for the circumstances. Now, why is this cooperation list? Because you start taking responsibility of your event, of this event. Um, so for me personally, it was, you know, uh, yes, I had a car accident when I was younger and what am I going to do about it? And that what am I going to do about it means that I actually start taking responsibility. It, I can actually make a difference in showing up and how do I want to show up? That's where my responsibility comes in. It's about accepting, accepting for what I have and where can I go knowing this is what I have. I can change my body. Oh, well, you know, it is what it is, but what can I, what are my resources that I can tap into, as we mentioned earlier, with the internal message that I was experiencing. So how has these cooperation lens show up for me? Um, I don't like staying for overtime. Um, and, and typically, I experience a lot of this cooperation lens, especially going to work, um, going to my healthcare profession work. Um, I use this lens many times. I don't like staying for overtime. I want to go home, but no one else can come and cover me and I don't have a choice. So what can I do? I'm just stuck. I don't like it, but I'm just going to put up with it. So that's a perfect example of where this cooperation lens will show up for me. I don't want to get fired <laughs> and I don't like overtime, but what am I going to do? I don't have a choice. Or in the relationship side, it show up as, you know, I like him, he doesn't like me. Oh, well, what can I do? It is what it is. Um, I can't make someone to like me. So, and I don't want to ruin this relationship or this friendship. I'll just stay and maybe I can change or maybe he will change. So there was a lot of putting up with what I cannot do, I, what I can and cannot do. So I was just operating on that cooperation lens. I don't want to leave this friendship because it's important to me. But then at the same time, I'm not getting what I want out of that friendship. So, oh, well, it is what it is. So I was stuck in those relationships. I was stuck in those friendships for many, many years until... I decided that it was gonna be something different. So the cooperation, again, it's the gateway to your next level, which we will cover tomorrow if you stay tuned with me and tune in with me tomorrow. How might this cooperation lens show up for you? Well, there's a couple of ways that it might show up. Oh no, more death. Um, what, when is this going to be over? Um, I suppose if I just do my part, maybe it'll help. And this is where we feel that we don't have much choice and we kind of just taking our responsibility to do our part so that we can contribute to hopefully a greater good. Um, so that's a cooperation lens that maybe you can resonate with. The other lens that you can, the other internal message that you might experience is, well, I don't really have a choice. The state issue, the restriction, I guess, you know, I just have to follow the safer at home order. But what am I going to do to pay this month's rent? Oh, well, it is what it is. What choice do I have? 
So again, you can hear, you can feel how much heavier that energy is when you're wearing this collaboration lens, um, having those internal message. The other lens, the other internal message could be, I should have never gotten married. Yeah, they told me about this and it was going to happen. I'm doomed to pick up your dirty laundry for the rest of my year until you're turning 18 and then I can perhaps kick you out. So there's a mix of that cooperation lens and the fighter lens that I was describing. There's nothing I can do about this. I'm stuck with you for the rest of my life. Um, so as much as I dislike the doing the laundry, oh well, you know, it is what it is. So those are type of examples of internal messages that you might be experiencing or hearing yourself from time to time. Well, look again, you know, what determine which lens are you currently wearing? Are you wearing the warrior lens? Are you wearing the fighter lens? Are you wearing this cooperation lens? And how does that feel when you have those lenses? So what do you do when you have these um, cooperation lens that you're wearing? Um, my business partner, Becca, Katie, and I have this podcast. It's called Being Powerful. Um, it's, we, had a, we did an episode actually recently. So if you look under iTunes or Spotify, search on the Being Powerful, Becca, Katie, and Michelle Quay, then you'll be able to hear all these uh, episodes that we have done. One of the episodes, we talk very specifically about this cooperation lens because it's, a, like I said, it's a gateway to get you feel motivated, be inspired so that you can start looking into opportunity. And one of the podcasts that we cover was moving from acceptance to forgiveness. And we cover a lot in detail in terms of what would that look like and how does that apply to you, to us and, and how does that, how might that apply to you? So one of the way that you can learn more is actually to go check out my podcast, Being Powerful. And you're here, you know, how Becca and I have do, done a lot of reflection in that particular, particular episode. Taking personal responsibility is a good thing because then, you know, when we're wearing this cooperation lens, we start looking into what is it that we can do individually to help to contribute to a greater good. So actually taking personal responsibility is a good thing. And for me, you know, I was able to think about, well, you know, I didn't create the accident. I didn't have the car accident happen to me. And it probably could happen to everybody, anybody. Um, so it's really about what can I do with what I have and use what I have and to make it better, to, to improve upon. So it was about, it was about taking personal responsi responsibility of my own body um, and how that may help me to moving forward into my future. And, Again, that's the ability of looking into what are some of the options that's available to you. So I can walk and I can, well, I can jump, I can, I can run, um, but what can I do to keep myself, you know, physically healthy? Well, I could walk, I can walk. So I definitely went, did a lot of walk. And those of you who probably haven't, haven't heard my story, I walk and I walk so much that I walk Machu Picchu. <laughs> so those will be for another time. What are you putting up with right now? That's a great question to ask yourself. What is it that you're putting up with right now? Is it, are those your excuses to put up with things, to continue to tolerate things that's not working out for you? What are you putting up with, um, with things right now? And you can also join my Facebook. It's called The Confidence Lab. So if you uh, put in the search box, The Confidence Lab, you'll be able to join my Facebook. And in the Facebook, I, the group, I share a lot of, um, you know, in more detail of how do we show up in, in ourselves in such a way that we feel confident, authentic, and that we're using our true personal power. So this is an example of, you know, what your assessment would look like should you choose to take an assessment with me. Um, you can take this assessment, it will give you a really detailed breakdown of how you show up and where you are. So to give you more insight into the opportunity that you can improve upon or think area where it's not working. So if you're interested to take the EOI assessment, you can visit me again at elevatelifecoaching.org slash energy leadership. And it, what it comes is a complimentary debrief session um, with me, the EOI MP, I'm certified EOI MP, and we will go over in detail of what these number means for you. 
Cooperation. So to recap, today we covered the cooperation lens of the energy leadership uh, series. And so the question I want you to walk away with is ask yourself, what is it that you're putting up with this moment? What, what is it that you're cooperating? What is it that you're tolerating this very moment? And how, how does that impact you and makes you feel like you are stuck? And it's cloudy your decision in making that choice. And if you need more support, obviously you know where to find me. You can come and reach out to me and I will be happy to give you a clarity moment so that you have a better understanding of where, where and how to move on to the next step. Um, again, this is Energy Leadership Series day number five, and I will see you tomorrow with our next level.